how to machine a brake rotor. Some of the clips have been sped up due to time constraints. This is a brake lathe machine. Here we have the power switch. Then we have the feed control knob, the cutting arm control knob, the automatic feed switch, the cutting arm lockdown, the cutting bit control knobs, and the cutting bit lockdowns. Here are the cutting bits. Before machining, you must use a micrometer to measure the rotor and check for minimum allowable thickness. To properly chuck up a rotor, you must use a combination of adapters. A spring, a tapered centering cone, a spacer, a self-aligning spacer, and the reverse threaded spindle nut. Don't forget to add the noise silencer band. This will help to minimize vibration and reduce chatter marks. We're now ready for our scratch cuts. Turn one cutting bit into the surface of the rotor to make your first scratch cut. Next, rotate the rotor one half turn and make a second scratch cut. If chucked up properly, the two scratch cuts should line up together. The scratch cuts line up. We are ready for the rough cut. For the rough cut, 5 thousandths to 10 thousandths of an inch of material should be removed from each side of the rotor at a speed of 6 to 10 thousandths of an inch per revolution. After this, we can do our finish cut. The finish cut should be slowed down to two thousandths of an inch per revolution. Two thousandths of an inch of material should be removed from each side of the rotor during the finish cut. After the finish cut, pass over the rotor with a pair of sanding blocks. This before and after shows how machining a rotor will leave you with a clean and even surface that will mate perfectly with new brake pads.